All right, so the start of the album is coming out at the end of the month. Yeah. How does it feel to finally be able to have your release date? Well, oh, fam, it's been it's been it's been a long rocky road, cause but uh, yeah, we're finally here. Time's starting to fly. Um, it's gonna be a big day, man. It's gonna be a big day for 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 me, for um, for the music scene, and I just want people to you know understand that this is how to do it. Do you know what I mean? This is my third album now, hence why I call it doing it again, and uh, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a benchmark for for mainstream skeptic. That's where that's where I'm gonna start, and hopefully it'll come to bigger and better things. Now, how important for you is it? Just charting sales. I mean, which is that an important thing to you? You know, about the sales and the position that you chart. Um. Yeah, without without trying to be ignorant or anything, you know, people that chart people that chart higher than other people, you know, you know what I'm saying. You get perks that other people don't get, and and but at the same time, being authentic with it, you know, what I'm saying, being credible with it, is a hard balance, man. But I feel like I try to do it the best I can. And you know, if anyone, if ever, any, if any other artist feels like I don't, they can learn from my mistakes or learn from other people's and carry on going. So they both, they both have their own values. The song that I'm feeling now is um, the song that you and Chipmunk big. Yeah. But roughly, when did you write those lyrics, and what was, even as self-explanatory, what was your state of mind at the point of writing that song? Um. I don't know man, I, when did I write that song? I wrote that just like summer times last year. You know what I'm saying? Obviously I've always done music, I've always been around my fans, always been around my supporters, but like, it started to change, you know what I mean? And it was a thing where I wanted to explain to people like what it was like, innit? Because I used to be like in the crowd with my before I go on stage back in the day. I'd go to I'd go to my booking, yeah, meet the promoter outside, stand in the crowd, chill out. You know what I'm saying? They go on stage with the, and then come back off the stage to the to, to the supporters and the fans, kind of mingle. But you know, when you start to do all these other events, they start to wrap you up in cotton wool and that. You know what I'm saying? And you start to lose touch. You know what I'm saying? So I wrote it to let people know, that, you know, the ins and outs of the game. There's probably other things or more things that I didn't say. And um, yeah, I finished writing it and I showed I showed Chip Monkey one like one time I was going to a, a club one time and he listened to it and he was like raw. You get me, and obviously he's been he's he's been more successful as a musician, chart wise and you know fame life wise than I have been. But he even felt it like what is that how deep you're going, Skepta? He hasn't written a song like that. Do you know what I'm saying? So he was like, yeah, yeah like can I put a verse on it? But obviously I'm thinking, oh yeah, Mr. Sony, gonna try and lodge me like try and you know they try and big up your tune, but they don't really. But like he was on it, you get me, and it was genuine. So boom, he got on the he got on the track. Um, although I don't like the leaks and all that stuff, well, the track did leak, but the feedback's been heavy. So, yeah, man, I'm, 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 pr I'm proud of that song, man. That's one of the songs off my album that I'll listen back to in a long, long time and say, yeah, that was from the heart. Okay, like you had obviously, you must have had a lot of interest from other labels. Mm. So, what made you decide to sign the deal that you did as opposed to the other offers that you may have had? Um, the kind of deal that I've got was very it left me in control still you know what i'm saying i still own my music um i'm not signing like some five album deal with, where where i'm just like a puppet for whenever they want me to do something do you know what i mean um my logo is still on my my releases um the boy better know brand is 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 you know allowed to breathe and it was something that we took a long time to negotiate you know what I'm saying? Artists that have had, you know, big songs and their songs have been licensed to a compilation, they'll understand what a licensing deal is. But yeah, I've licensed my album to them and you know, these people they got like they they've, they've they can do things for me that I couldn't do. Do you know what I'm saying? As as for myself, as for independent skeptic, I've got to a stage where like rah, do you know what I mean? Like I need I need some major backing right now, do you know what I'm saying? More financial wise, because really the music's down to me, like I don't have I don't have no one writing my music for me like that because I'm signed or, you know, like, I don't have help with my music. But financially, you know, these people have got relationships with people that I ain't. So it was a thing where I felt like the time was right. And a lot of people, like the new fans, are going to realise that you actually are a producer and a DJ. Do you mm. feel that gives you 
they a better creative outlook on how you want your album to sound because you actually know from the start to finish mm. how to make a track. Yeah, it's difficult though because you see what I'm my, like. I'm very open minded with music, innit? Like sometimes I might make a tune that sounds like a dance record, then I might make a tune that sounds the Grammy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So I've, I I I always get to making the album and I think this sounds like a compilation. And I sit there and I'll play my album to myself and I think, no, that doesn't sound right going after that, going after that. But, you know, I felt like I've made, I feel like I've made doing it again. But when people buy it and listen to it, they're going to feel like, raw. oh my, how can my man make an album like that? That sounds so musical, but you can hear the hunger, you can hear the grimy side of it. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that this guy was from grime. Yeah, and now he's doing well in music. And that's what I want, that's what I want. Like people to, to, to get from the album and and I feel like, you know, especially when I, I bought Kanye West's album, I listened to it and I was thinking to myself, that's how you express yourself as a as as, as a producer and an MC. You know? Like for me it's hard because I'm in I'm in grime where, you know, the cliche thing to do is just be raw. You know what I'm saying? Raw. Loop that eight bar and spray it right now. That's what it's supposed to be about, do you know what I mean? And it's good to be about that. But at the same time, I feel like I'm. I feel like I feel claustrophobic. I feel like, bro, well, hold on, but I can, I can make music. Like I can. I'm not like a classic, like key player or anything, but I can play, like nice melodies. I can play chords and all that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. I want people to. I want this album to put me in that, that in my own place with man. Say, you know what? Just loud skepta because he does his thing. You get me? Now you were at Chipmunks video shoot for Champion. Mm. What was that experience like? Set. Yeah man, big shout out to Chipmunk, you know what I'm saying, obviously with the Diddy thing when he was there, he called it at me, he went out to um, Miami. Um, to be honest, the night before the shoot, I went out and got wasted, you get me? So half of the shoot, I was in the car asleep, and then I woke up like midday, and they're like, and they said, and now they're still shooting. I drove home, back to the hotel, got changed, come back, and um, <coughs> Yeah, I met Chris, didn't get into no in-depth conversation with him, but it was just good to see like another UK artist making moves, you know what I'm saying? And um Yeah, it was a good experience and it made me feel like, yeah, I want like there's 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 more to do, you know what I'm saying? Because it's very easy to become complacent. You feel like rah, done a team with Diddy, done a team with fifty, done a team of Soldier Boy. I'm I'm I do this thing. But it wasn't like I was out there and I was learning and you know, making new links and that. And like I said, yeah, big up Chipmunk for bringing me out there because, uh, you know, I made progress on what I've already done. Like the last time we spoke, um, we spoke about the guitar music coming back in yeah, into fashion. Yeah, yeah. And it seems that there's a transition almost now that some of the people who were popular, let's say, 18 months ago, mm. are so today. So where do you feel that's going to leave? Not necessarily the brand music, but the artists who come from the brand scene who actually signed to majors. I, I predicted this. I predicted this. If you, if you if you go back and you watch when I when I when I premiered mm. the Diddy thing at the end of the video, I predicted this. And it's and it, and it's 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 hard it's hard to accept. But you've got to be real sometimes, cause you know what I'm saying. Like I never really ever really want to turn my back on my friends like that. I don't want my I don't want my fans to be ashamed to say they like me. You know what I'm saying? When one of my fans say, yeah, I like Skepta, I don't want someone else, one of his brothers to say, oh, you're moist, you can't listen to my man, you get me? So that's what I've always had in my body. And it's not because, it's not solely because of them, it's because of myself. Because if I'm somewhere and I feel like I'm not happy with my music, there's no point in me doing it. Like I said, I produce and I MC and I've, and I've got, you know, this life. I ain't gonna waste it doing, doing music that I, that, I, that I won't listen to. I listen to all my tunes. All, ask, ask any one of my friends, I listen to all my tunes. And it might sound mad, like I listen to their own tunes, but I always listen to my tunes. I love my music, do you know what I mean? And if, if I love my music, you will get that energy from me. You'll, you'll be able to feel it, you'll be able to hear it in the bars. Like, yeah, my man likes it. So that's what I've always tried to do and keep in my, in my music. And that's why none of that sh affects me. If I, hear, so if I hear an MC don't chart tomorrow, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But if one of them lot here, that guy's not charting, they start worrying, like, oh my God, my man didn't chart, you know? Shh, like, what are we going to do? I don't care about that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll, like, I'll go and make an underground tune tomorrow and it'll still be big, my name's hot. I'll just carry on going, carry on going, and hopefully my fans stick by me. You know what I'm saying? And I shouldn't, I shouldn't be 
my music career shouldn't be going, shouldn't be descending. It should never should be like that because you're supposed to build. You can't be one day. I can not be the biggest artist in the UK in one minute. And what, so what did I do? I didn't do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I learn from other people's mistakes. They can learn from theirs, learn from other people's, and just try. It's a fight, man. This UK game is not. It's not cut out for what we want to do because it's not big enough. You know what I'm saying? And it's a new, it's new music. Like I said, I just come back from um, New York. I was in Bloomingdale's, I was in Macy's. They was playing Rick Ross, like nine piece. Like hard Rick Ross tunes in Bloomingdale's. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta understand that their generation of music is, is, is gone far now, do you know what I'm saying? I wanna see that we're still new with it. So it's hard working with, with what you got. But you know, hopefully I'll be remembered and I'll leave a good legacy rather than have a two year career.